Yo, what's going on people? Right, just a quick cool tutorial for this viral sort of glow effect that you see on Instagram uh, and certain cinematic videos. Um, I'm yet to recreate this, so you'll be following me uh, as I do it for the first time, but I think it'll be pretty simple. Um, a few masking techniques, um, maybe just some integrated sort of grain with some glow, and we might be able to sort of achieve that effect um, quite quickly. So first of all, let's just jump into Fusion, trim your clip, um, let's go to Magic Mask. And I like to use the Legacy Magic Mask, it just works better for me. Um, but obviously you can use what you want. First of all, I'm just going to make our selection. Let's click better. And then once that's done, I'm going to click play. It's going to run through. And it should have a nice selection here. So I'm also just going to then go and duplicate this clip and disable the bottom layer and then go back into Fusion. Now that I have this, I want to create a merge um, and some sort of solid I think would work best. So if we just connect that and we make the merge sit in. The color is usually like this deep purple they have going on. Something like this. And then from that I think we can go on to grain. And we start to get that speckly look. We need to sort of edit the grain though just to make it more pronounced. Uh, so let's play around with these settings. Yeah, straight away we're already getting that sort of really interesting, yeah, speckly, glowy look. No, not glowy. We'll add the glow later, but let's just fiddle around with these settings. Let's see what that look looks like. That looks pretty good. Make sure your merge is set to in, otherwise it won't be laid in. Um, now I think from here we add a glow after. So let's just add a glow um, after the merge one. And we're already starting to really get close to that sort of cool effect. Um, let's maybe mess around with these. Now I just want to see what happens, yeah, when we add a mask, because I kind of want it to appear upwards, so it's kind of, kind of sort of, as they're running, it appears like this. So if we just let's create the mask and have it over the subject, and then let's go to frame zero, just bring this down. Let's do it this way. this down like this and then let's keyframe the position so make sure you're on zero keyframe the position and let's just go to let's say frame 20 so a little less than a second and let's bring the position up let's see what we have let's add a little bit of a feather as well soft edge So it's quite nice. Let's just come into our spline editor. Let's find our rectangle. Let's just zoom out a little bit and let's um, make this a bezier curve. Let's just open this up a little bit. You want to highlight this, it's a bit finicky. Let's go like this and just drag this to five. So you want to make sure only the right point is selected and then you can kind of kind of come in like this now let's see what we have back on the edit page now we can disable this um you the duplicate clip we obviously had to have that magic mask on so you just want to come in and delete that magic mask and then we should have something quite cool
that looks good let's just go in and see if there's anything else we can add um, if you've got the studio version come to aperture diffraction let's see if that sort of does every, does, it, um, does anything cool <clears throat> You want to come for in used for compositing. Sort of mess around with the settings again, just sort of adding a different kind of glow onto it. Something that's a bit more exponential, sort of flows a little bit more outwards. No, that's really cool. just going to come back to this aperture refraction just come out to the compositing uh, controls and just decrease the brightness ever so slightly now if you go to your background you'll notice you can now change the color of these remember depending on the uh, grain that you've set um, you might lose a lot of the detail to so maybe stay in sort of the lower balance colors I'm just going to keep it as it was because I really like this we come back to the grain, we can sort of mess around with the size as well. Doesn't look so good like that, but you can mess around with the pixel size, spacing. I'm just going to keep it as it was. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty that um, pretty simple. This looks really clean. And this was done, you know, relatively quickly. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. And if you're using DaVinci Resolve, guys, check out the full collection of my editing plugins at Bluetooth.com. These tools seriously level up your workflow. From CRT, VHS, and animated titles, I've got you covered. Pack up your bags and we was up, we was up all night, right? All the functions set. When I turn my back, you froze.